Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Ballin Brands, and today I want to show you how to use the sales pipeline in the Keep CRM. So a really cool feature in Keep, whether you're in Keep Max Classic, which is the originally known as Infusionsoft, I have a separate video for that, or if you're in Keep, the newer Keep interface, like Keep Max or uh, Keep Pro, then you have built in here this sales pipeline. Okay, so when I click on sales over here on the left, by default, it goes to pipeline. All right, now what's cool about the pipeline here is that um, you're able to set up, first of all, multiple pipelines, but then you're also able to set up each of the stages that you want in here as well. So by default, I have just a, a real simple pipeline set up here. Um, and this would be like new, we can call it new lead, you know, if we want to be a little more uh, specific there. Let's do edit new lead okay so new lead qualifying contacting negotiating right something like that so it's a general sales pipeline that allows me to kind of track where each of the contacts are okay so um, they're called deals this each little car is called a deal and um, and then we can also automate these stages as well so really super cool feature we'll get a little bit more uh, into those details but Let's say I want to add another stage. So I have a new lead. Let's say uh, reached out. Okay, we'll save that. So let's say I reached out to them. Now I'm trying to qualify them. Some, sometimes maybe you call that reached out. Uh, maybe we'll say uh, hold appointment or set appointment. Right, so this would be mean that we actually set the appointment. Then we call this one maybe appointment kept. If we want to do it that way and then negotiating and then finally we could do um you know close all right so our options here of course are oops went back a little too far there go back pipeline okay all right so now if i want to add a deal for example that's just pulling up a contact under this particular thing so these are the different contacts i have in here Right, and then what's the deal name? So in this case, we can give it a call, uh, give it a name like um, we'll just call it website lead. Say it came off. Deal value. So like if we value all of our leads in a particular you know thing. So like if it's a maybe we have a two hundred dollar consulting service, right? So the value of this particular lead is two hundred dollars, right? We have that option, and then I can make some general notes if I want to as well. So let's go ahead and click add. So you see how it has this website lead and then $200 potential value and whatnot. Now, if I click on this, it pulls up basically their information. I can go to the actual, shows the contacts that they are, you know, estimated close date I can put in there. I can have notes and send, you know, give a quote, send an invoice, send an email, all that next uh, cool stuff that we can do there. It also saves the deal activity. So it shows you kind of a history of what you've been doing in there. So now, it, let's say I called this particular uh, contact and I have to click on them and then view their contact record, you know, get their phone number, do all that, call them, so forth. Um, so that's, that's one thing. And then um, I can also then just go ahead and move to next stage. So that means now I did that, now I reached out and we moved to the next stage. So what's cool about this is that, again, really easy to manage, right? Everybody that's here needs to be reached out to. Everybody that's here needs this. You could do this in a fulfillment uh, platform as well. Maybe they're already a client. We could do a new sales pipeline. For example, um, manage pipelines. We've got the default one. We're gonna add a new pipeline. We're gonna call this one a project pipeline. And then not started planning in progress. Review. So these are the default things. I can change the names of those really quick if I wanted to, but I can just go ahead and save that as well. And now we'll hit save. And now you'll see we have a project pipeline. Doo -doo -doo, and then we have our default pipeline as well. So we can have a sales pipeline, fulfillment pipeline, you know, whatever we need there, it's really cool. All right, so now the other thing that we can do is we can automate the stages like I mentioned. So let's say someone comes in automatically as a new deal. I can automate that stage to say when someone, right, when, so what starts your automation? Deal enters the stage. So when someone comes into the pipeline, new lead, right, then I want to do this. Maybe it's add a tag, maybe it's send a text, maybe it's send an email, anything I want to do there, right? I can do all these different things. So let's just say I want, I can send a notification to someone on my team if I want to do that, which is really cool. Um, so a lot of different options. I can, like I said, I can add a tag if, if we want to go that route. So let's just say I want to send an email. 
we're going to do an introduction or I can start with a blank email. Either way, I can choose something that's in there as a general introduction. Uh, hi, so-and-so. So nice meeting you. I just wanted to say now in this case, this is a lead we haven't met, right? So we'll just say like, thank you for registering. We look forward to connecting with you, right? Something like that. Look forward to connecting with you. All right. So let's just say that's an example. Yes, I want to include my signature, all that good stuff, right? So then I can hit next. And then do I want it to go out immediately when they come into the funnel or do I want it to be delayed? Now, in some cases, I might want to delay it um, just by like three minutes or something. I want to make it look a little bit more authentic, I guess, right? So I could do that as an option and I can click next and, and it stops when the deal exits the stage. Now, the, the reason why this exists is I could create a seven month or a six month follow-up campaign for someone that's in here. But I don't want that to keep going to them when they actually leave the stage. So keep that in mind. Like if I'm going to do a nurturing stage or something like that, like that's that we could build right in here, you know, this long-term nurture until they become a client or something like that. So they have this cool little stop option as well. All right. So we'll go ahead and publish that. And now we have that option. So if someone comes into here, anybody new, because I have, I can see this, that there's automation active, it's going to send them that follow up. Now I can also edit the automation and add when the deal exits the stage, then it does these things, right? So again, think of like if we close the transaction and we move them to closed, I could either set up a new automation on close that says when they enter close, send them this follow up, thank you, blah, blah, blah. Or I could set up the automation on the previous one that says when, you know, when they leave the working stage or whatever, then send them these things, right? It doesn't really matter which way. It, it just, that only matters if you just think about how the communication is going to go. When do you want it to go? At what stages? Could someone be in, you know, one stage, you know, like, you can't have one deal in two stages or you could actually have one particular person in two different stages. So, you know, think about how that's all going to interact with each other. But otherwise, it's all built in right here. Like I said, super easy to set up, you know, very easy to, to configure and create some pretty dynamic and awesome marketing automation. So if you have any questions on any of this, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at